most you've had? How do you how do you feel like you played? I feel like I played pretty well. I mean, there's always things that I can clean up on my side that I can do better to help my team out. But yeah, overall, I think I played pretty well. What's this journey been like for you going from playing on the offensive side of the ball in high school to learning a defense to getting a new defense? Just what what, what is this? Has it been like kind of a whirlwind for you? Yeah, I guess you could say. I mean, it's, it's definitely been a challenge, but I mean, you got to be up for a challenge all always. So I mean, playing offense in high school to now playing defense here, I mean, it's 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 awesome. I mean, I can't complain. So did it help you kind of see the field better? You know, as a safety, you kind of got to see everything. Yeah. So I mean, just playing quarterback, you can. I mean, quarterback, he's gonna give you tells of what he's gonna do, especially when you're playing the post. I mean, he's always gonna give you something, and I mean, I know that just from playing quarterback. So. Ray, what's the biggest thing that you've learned from? Like yeah, so I mean, Keon, man, we're we're boys, so we always talk on and off the field, just what we see during during games, during practice. Whether I'm coming off the field in practice, what he sees, we're just always communicating what we see to make each other better every day. And, and what kind of encouragement has he given you over the past few days? And you kind of take just things? go out, do your thing. I mean, that's that's always what it is. I mean, we got we all got each other's back, so that's what we got to do. What was your perspective of uh, his last play breaking up the pass on Score White? Oh, that was awesome. I mean, a guy that's been fighting, he's fighting a hard injury. So, I mean, I can't say enough about that. That's a, that's hard, but hey, he's gutting it out for, I mean, us. I mean, that's that's what we do for each other. We play for each other, so. Late in the game for you, uh, you got the big stop when you needed three and out. What was your perspective going into that series and you kind of making those tackles? Yeah, I just knew that we needed a big stop and why not just make it on myself? I mean, that's what you want. You want pressure on yourself to go and make the play. You want to be there for your guys whenever you're called upon. So that's what I did. What's your approach kind of been like this week, knowing that Keon's going to be down for a little while? Just do my best. Do whatever my teammates need me to do. Just, you know, just prepare the best and be there for my teammates. Don't want to let them down. So There's a lot of depth pieces in the secondary that transferred out because they weren't going to be starters. But, you know, what was your process in that and, and deciding to stay? Just stay focused. I mean, it's, it's the process. Even when Saban, Coach Saban was here, I mean, it's the process. I mean, they're going to they're gonna build you to be the best you can be. So that's all really just keep stacking days and keep going with the process. Um, from a film standpoint, what have you seen on film uh, that uh, Missouri presents from an from offensive standpoint or anything like that? Yeah, they like to push the ball. I mean, they got three great receivers, great quarterback. He's got experience. They got good running backs, but they're going to do a little bit of everything. And so, you know, just breaking down film, seeing what they like on certain downs, and that's going to be the big key this week. How much has Coach Hitchler kind of helped with your development this season and kind of getting him? Yeah, a lot. Um, just giving me confidence, going out there, playing fast. I mean, it, of course, it was a new system, so allowing him to play fast. I mean, he's, he's done a great job with getting really all of us and just playing faster and not thinking, just getting the call and going out there playing quick. How was your adjustment to the new system and what sticks out to you about it? Um, I think it's just, you know, the ability to play fast, play faster, not think. Um, so uh, there's not a lot of like not a lot of thinking, not in a bad way. Just we can really get out and uh, start playing. So, what goes into that? Is it uh, huge study periods uh, during the off season? Like how much devotion does it get to be where you can actually play like that? You talking about in this system or the last system? Oh, uh, in either of them, I guess for this system, just of, of knowing this defense. Yeah, I mean, you, you, either way, you got to know the defense and you got to know what you're adjusting to, whether it's a motion or anything. You got to know what you're going to adjust to. So that goes along with film work and you know studying and. Going up, seeing the coaches, seeing what, you know, putting calls together with plays you see on tape and whether it's motion, whatever formation, you just got to know what you're getting to or what you're starting and whatever. With, so. the, with the, this defense, as much as you read the quarterback's eyes, does it kind of help even more that you, you played the quarterback? Yeah, I mean, I'd say so. But, I mean, at the end of the day, you can't predict the offense. They're, they're running a play. You're running your defensive play trying to defend them, and they're trying to score on you. So. What is going to be your approach? I mean, at times the secondary's had a little bit of trouble with receivers getting behind guys. Like, what, coming in and playing this defense, what, what are you going to try to do to help improve that? Just, I mean, I, I just don't want to let my brothers down. I mean, at the end of the day, that's what we're all that's what we're all doing. The goal at the end of the day is zero points on the board for them, and so I, I think that's that's the main focus. Don't let them get in the end zone. So. What are the conversations like uh, throughout the year as the secondaries uh, seeing a lot of passes get, get over their head? Obviously, not not a whole lot of completions, but there have been shots. Oh yeah, I mean it's just sometimes it's just fundamental stuff and stuff that we're doing on our part, and really it just comes down to us playing the right technique or whatever it is. So yeah. Is there anybody you've leaned on maybe throughout your your time here? Maybe somebody from back home or just a player like to get, to get you ready for this moment? I mean it goes to Keon and Malachi. I mean those are the two leaders in our room. 
they both got experience playing and those guys are, I mean, they, we rely on them, they rely on us. We always talk, we're talking what we see, making each other uh, better every day, so. What's the best piece of advice you got from them? Go out there, do your thing. You know it, go do it. I'm, I'm sure you saw watching tape on Missouri that Brady Cook was in, started, then went out and then came back. Did you happen to catch the story of, of how that happened, that he got no, to come back in the game? I didn't really I, catch it, but hospital, I did hear Went that, to the hospital, had to get an MRI. Yeah. They said, you're not, you're a no-go. And then they said, yeah, maybe. And then he went back and finished it. Yeah, that's, that's pretty crazy. Was there a point last week when you thought there was a chance that maybe you could see a little bit of playing time just with what Keon's been dealing uh, with? I think I kind of knew just – it's always stay ready. Every week is stay ready. You never know what's going to happen. I mean, things change in a blink of an eye. So you just got to stay ready. And that's what I did. And then just prepare every week in and out and kind of knew. But I mean, at the end of the day, you never know what's going to happen. So when your name's called upon, you got to go make the best of it. What are you studying here? Just everything, anything I can, anything I can study on Missouri. No, I meant like a major. Oh, studying yeah. here. I thought you were talking about film. <laughs> uh, I'm studying sports management. Okay. Liking it? Yeah, I love it. I love how, it. How much of a chip do you play with on your shoulder? You're a guy that maybe was kind of overlooked at times. And now you're getting a chance to start in a, in a big game. Do you, do you carry that? Yeah, I mean, you, I mean, you got to have a chip on your shoulder. Uh, you got to have a reason. You got to have a why. And so, I mean, I just go out there every day. I mean, I, I don't, I don't worry about all the overlooked stuff. At the end of the day, I, I'm here playing with my brothers. I mean, we're fighting e each day to get better, and that's all I do. So, and what, what is your why? My mom. So my mom, my mom passed away when I was 11, and to a stage four breast cancer. And so that's my why. So 11 or 12. Oh, would you share her name with us? Courtney Hubbard. Spelled normal. Mm -hmm. Okay.